Up next, Frisco ISD bands come together to create some joyful noise. And elementary students get to experience a high school tradition early on. All of this and more, Season 9 of Frisco ISD TV starts now. Welcome to Frisco ISD TV. I'm Erin Davis. And I'm Miranda Alexander. Thanks for being with us. Centennial High School gained a new student section this year. However, they're much younger than you'd expect. In its elementary, my dear, Lauren Harding shows us how Kurt Singer Elementary students supported their future high school. Kurt Singer Elementary definitely has spirit. They showed it by dressing up in red, white, and blue for their tiny Titan homecoming. Friday is Spirit Day, Red, White, and Blue Day, and um, so we, we get to paint our face and hair, which I have no hair, but uh, we get to do it once a year. This annual prep rally has students pumped up for the game, played by their feeder high school, the Centennial Titans. We wondered if they really knew the meaning of homecoming. Homecoming is like a sport that you can like, play at school, like, like Centennial High School, college, and... That's it. It's a, a football or any sport game where your team plays at your school or home instead of going and traveling to a different school to play that game. For some, it's more than just a game. Students seem to enjoy the activities around it. We like paint our faces and then we have a prep rally at the end of the day and like root for our team. It's the only day of the year that we can do this stuff. So I just took advantage of it. I went all out. I'm going to have fun and we're going to do the cheer that we've been practicing all week. It's fun to dress up. My face paint and dirt, my huge hair. Centennial takes part in the pep rally to energize the future Tiny Titans. We try to involve the high school students. We bring back football players, uh, cheerleaders, and so forth um, to come over and try to get the kids excited. It's fun and it's homecoming. That's a big deal for us. These Tiny Titans at Kurtzinger Elementary have a taste of what homecoming looks like in high school. I'm Lauren Harding for Frisco ISD TV. Seeing all those kids cheering was super cute. Josh Lalum got the chance to see the impact confidence has on young girls at the Scoggin Strong Girls Conference. Here's the story in the middle of it all. Girls are growing together to reach their peak at the Scoggin Seahawk Girls Summit. I'm here today to just get together with all my friends and become more confident in ourselves and just be more empowered. Scoggins girls, old and new, showed up on a day when school was not in session to help each other grow. They're coming up here on a Saturday and they're seeing our Scoggins community as a whole. So we have approximately 20 staff members that are volunteering today. And then we're also having Independence High School students that are Scoggins alumni that are coming back to support them. So I want them to see the event as almost like a support system for them. Scoggins middle school counselors have taken students off site for this type of event in the past. They decided to bring it home. We went to a conference two years ago and then decided we wanted to do that here at our school. And so we took some of those ideas from that original conference and then brought them here. A couple of us just got to talking about what if we did it here on our campus where our kids feel comfortable. We could kind of drive the agenda and be able to create what we wanted to see communicated to our students and have them work together on. From keynote speakers to small group sessions, the Scoggins Girls Strong event provided lessons on teamwork, media use, and decision making. The program is about empowering girls, and we had several speakers, a keynote speaker this morning, right, Patrice Dunn, Judith Reedy today, right, and it's very important right, because even in America, girls don't always know that right, they that. are strong too, and that they're called to be strong, and even if they know it, they don't know how to be. 
went to three different sessions to help them prepare as they grow as girls. My topic was talking about the brain and how we make decisions and so we learned how to settle our glitter by making glitter jars. So I just was working with the girls on right, we'll what they wanted the their team to look like here as 8th grade right, girls at Scoggins. I was invited to come and present a session to the 8th grade girls at Scoggins about social media and communications. In my session I have to share out loud and so I think it's important for girls to hear what other girls are thinking, what other girls are experiencing, so they know that they are not alone in that and how we can all be strong together as women. The girls gained strength in numbers with what they took away. I learned that um, being a girl is like a great opportunity and I learned that being a girl, like you don't have to be something that you're not because you're already something that's valued. I learned that we don't need guys or anybody else or their opinions to just come on us. We can be powerful and confident in ourselves without anybody else's opinion. We should be kind to one another and we shouldn't like bring each other down. We should be nice to other girls and we're more than what we look like. Really in our generation, there's a lack of respect for other girls, and so I think it's important that we have this group of girls rallying together to support each other. To establish your support system soon, like what we really focused on, and so just to realize that, hey, you're gonna mess up, things are gonna happen, but if you have your friends there, you're good. I hope that they gain that just to stay strong and stay positive when they're faced during a difficult situation. They need to understand that they're more than um, their hair, their looks, their clothing, their likes and followers on social media. They have a lot of power, a lot of potential within them, and so we hope that that kind of starts that, that thinking for them today. Hopefully this event makes these girls stronger. I'm Josh Law for Frisco ISD TV. What a cool idea. Yeah, I actually got to go to a conference similar to that one time. Oh, that's really cool. Frisco ISD Steve Bands had the opportunity to bring music to life at the Ford Center. Mary-Kate Sunderman marches through this event in higher learning. Frisco ISD High Schools came together for a night of play at the Ford Center. This time, they harmonized to showcase musical talents. Each high school band and color guard participated in this first showcase of its kind. We were um, so committed to creating this band showcase. Um, we got very excited about the football, but now we turn our attention to the marching bands and it's wonderful. The turnout's been awesome. The crowd was split over their favorites. Of course, I think the best one is the Lone Star High School Marching Band. Because uh, go Rangers. I think it's Independence because uh, I like their show. It's really cool. I'm here to watch my daughter, Terrilyn Hackworth. She's in the Lone Star Band. Go Lone Star Rangers! Through the differences, attendees found common joy in watching the performances. I have to say my favorite part about tonight is just seeing good marching band shows. It's every, every show is unique, every show is different, and the kids have worked so hard. And that's what's really about tonight is Frisco ISD on display. My favorite part about tonight is community. It's uh, another event that brings our community together. I love seeing the families with their elementary students watching their older kids that are in high schools perform. I love seeing the senior citizens here, just that, that community feel that's what Frisco is. Overall, the night played out in precision and the reviews were favorable. It's just really fabulous to see all the hard work the kids have done over the course of the year. I'm just proud all together to be at the Ford Center and, and it's just so, oh wow, it's just awesome. I'm somewhat at a loss for words, but we have a great school system. The kids are doing a wonderful job. They're very competitive, and I can't wait to come back again. Band features like this are sure to become a routine with this being an annual event, and hope for band competitions like this here in the future. I'm Mary-Kate Sunderman for Frisco ISD TV. Our high school bands did a great job of filling the stadium with music. Up next, Lauren Goodman shows us how CTE Center students landed a project with Jamba Juice in High Tech Happenings.
Creative Juices are at work as CTE Center engineering students take their skills to new heights with a mix of fruit and technology. With Jamba Juice relocating its headquarters from California to Frisco, students had the chance to bring their own flavor in creating a smoothie delivery device. We're working on a drink carrier that a drone can carry a Jamba Juice cup for the Jamba Juice release headquarters ceremony. It's also supposed to be used in games to deliver drinks to customers wherever they are in the stands. And we uh, kind of came up with three different designs. We'd have a lift, a release, and a slide design. And after we met with the drone people, they, they decided and said, for safety reasons, it has to be a release. We kind of came up with the design where they attach a servo, set it down, the servo would then open up the claws and release the, uh, release the smoothie. Well, we had a challenge, which is how do we get product to our customers in a creative way? And there's nobody more creative than the next generation who are looking at these things and coming up with ideas. And so uh, we thought it was a great partnership and a great opportunity to challenge the students and say, hey, show us what you can do. Really, we wanted to understand how these students and all of the future leaders and thinkers of America could influence our business. And um, I believe that in the future, a lot of businesses, uh, Jamba obviously included, are going to be looking to younger teams to influence thinking because really, um, you know, thought leadership is coming from um, all, all of you here in, in the school district. The kickoff celebration at Hall Office Park welcomed Jamba Juice to Frisco. The student engineers were presented with a $5,000 check for their efforts. Oh, that's awesome. Anytime you can get some students with some experience in real life, even too, especially because they're getting to work with real business owners, real people, uh, real purpose of some type of project that they're putting together. The fact that they're using technology, I'm all about that. I love that. It is the wave of the future. That they delivered a Jamba Juice via uh, the drone is just fabulous. I love it. I love that they went to you guys and got ideas on how they could provide a drink individually using a drone. And I think it's really impressive that the students rose to the occasion and provided that. Thank them for the work they've done. Frisco ISD got a taste of what's to come from this blended beverage company. And so far, it seems everything landed just right. I'm Lauren Goodman for Frisco ISD TV. I love Jamba Juice. I'm so glad its headquarters moved here to Frisco. I know, right? It's so yummy. So, how was the back-to-school bash? It was pretty cool. It was a great way to kick off the school year. And here's the story. said hello to the new school year as they welcome back students to the fifth annual Back to School Bash. This is just for the parents and the students to come see different types of programs and offerings that the school district, the city of Frisco, and other businesses offer them in order to help them be successful and have a great school year. Many of the students may not have the necessary tools or resources to get started with the year and so we want to be able to provide those backpacks and necessary school supplies so that every child is set up for success. Many different vendors provided opportunities for families to become involved in the community. The Back to School Bash here in Frisco is amazing. There are so many organizations here that want to provide a support hub for the families, for the schools, for the teachers, the teacher aides, the guardians, everyone that's in the stakeholders position of a child's life. Some things here are like tutor doctor, YEA, they help you reach academic success. It was cool to see the different organizations that are out there that I can try and like go to and you know attempt to do. Newcomers seem to be thankful for this helping hand. Here it's a really really good school district and I'm just excited to be here and to meet all the new people. And we're looking for some activities for her to do like sports activities and things so we wanted to familiarize ourselves with that and um, I think that's something we'll take away from here. With a bigger location and more families in attendance, the Back to School Bash grows right alongside our district. This is a great event. Um, every year it has grown and grown and grown, and now we are here at Centennial, and the sky is the limit. I'm Erin Davis for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Erin. You started putting in work before the school year even started. Anything for Frisco ISD TV. That wraps up our show. Join us next time when we look at how technology gives a physical and mental advantage. And a middle school student milks her way towards her goal. I'm Erin Davis. And I'm Miranda Alexander. Thanks for watching.